Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 2077's. Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 2077. This game is amazing. A truly remarkable RPG. The substance of the game blew me away. One of the best games in years. <laughs> The Schrodinger's Cat of Games. You might ask yourself, or don't ask yourself, why is that? Well, Cyberpunk is either A, a bug-ridden experience, or B, a bug-free experience. I got A, and I'll show you what I mean. For example, people sliding, ethereal beings, random fall damage, cars are stuck, running through cars, cars despawning, flying cars, using the force, coughing textures, talking corpses, I am speed, nothing shooting, Shooting nothing, a sentient UMP, the yoinky spoinky, calling two people at once. <laughs> what? Calling no people, spawn the people you call, having a seizure, ending cutscene by the way, and... Why are you following me? Fuck off! Most of these bugs are pretty funny, but the more you get, the worse it gets. Falling through buildings, cutscenes bugging out, enemies shooting you from below the floor, you being infinitely stuck, enemies being infinitely stuck, being stuck in the map, missing prefabs, despawning trains, falling through the map, instantly dying from random fall damage, phasing through walls, I can't shoot, my own vehicles driving away from me through walls in a broken world. And I'm not even done. Now let's get to the ugly bugs. Most buildings that are far above ground level have no collision, meaning once you are there, you are able to walk through most of them and see a side of Night City you have never seen before. The quick hack commit livent makes you think you'd kill enemies outright with it. However, some of them just don't. During the car chase with Takamura, I got down to 0 HP and survived. These are a few bugs that I experienced within my 120 hours of playtime. Following this video will be a bug report on all of the bugs that I recorded for others to see and use in their own works. One bug I did not encounter was the corrupted save file bug. Save files that were 8 megabytes or more got simply corrupted and could not be loaded anymore. The size of the save files is determined by what you have done in the game, especially crafting and collectibles. The more the more you play, the closer you get your safe effectively yeeted. This issue has since been fixed with the patch 1.06. However, before the bug was fixed, a moderator on the CG Project forums had mind-blowing solutions for this problem. Play game until end, then start new game. Don't save and load too much. And don't craft too much. This guy probably stubbed his toe the day he wrote this, so don't take your anger out on him. <laughs> now take all of the aforementioned bugs, <laughs> mix them with below average frames per second, PlayStation 1 models, and non-loading textures, and congratulations, you got the base PS4 slash Xbox One experience. If you buy something on the PlayStation Store and start downloading, you cannot refund the game. Usually, that is. The game was so broken that Sony made a complete 180 and posted this on the Cyberpunk Store page. Removing the game from the PlayStation Store. Basically making an exception just for Cyberpunk. This was caused by CDPR tweeting that gamers can request refunds if they are not pleased by the game and Sony was like, Hey, what the f***? You haven't told us about that? The tweet that they posted also hinted at an agreement between retailers and customers, which then led to a lot of confusion because they didn't have any agreements whatsoever. In response to Sony's decision, the studio head of CD Projekt Red, Adam Bedowski, liked tweets bashing the game's removal. The liked tweets have now been removed, most likely to not cause further complications. Microsoft soon followed with this disclaimer, but you can still buy Cyberpunk on the Xbox Store. The bugs are not the only bad thing. Game design aspects were basically shoved into the game last minute or basically left out. The most infamous among them is the police system, or lack thereof. The police spawns right in front of you after you commit a crime. Isn't this immersive? And even if they spawn, it's just a few different enemy types that you can fight. A drone, some normal policemen, and these Widowmaker looking asses. It's surprisingly 
totally boring. And the despawn mechanics for them is completely broken. You can replicate that in your own game. Step one, go in front of a bar. Step two, this is where the fun begins. Commit crime. Did you really think you could defeat me, wretched fool? Step three, go inside the bar. Step four, go outside again and watch the show. This is not nearly everything. You have missing animations, characters not reacting to objects in their path, and straight up oblivion dialogue. What's up, gorgeous? The peak of all of this is that the game lacked an epilepsy disclaimer. And I think you know what happens next. Let's all do the cram! Stock soon tanked after the release and the investors are pissed. CDPR management admitted to basically misleading Microsoft and Sony. This in addition to telling investors that the game is ready to launch, when it really wasn't, makes way for multiple class action lawsuits. Wait the fuck up, samurai. We need a good lawyer. This whole old deal is so bad that the Fallout 76 subreddit celebrated that Cyberpunk is a worse rated game than Fallout Multiplier. I thought of something funnier than 76? Let me hear it. 77. <laughs> On January 13, CDPR made an apology explaining why this happened and told us that the management screwed up and not the devs. Please, don't fault any of our teams for what happened. They all are incredibly talented and hardworking. Myself and the board are the final decision makers and it was our call to release the game. And telling us that they will work on the game to make it better. You can already see some results from the hotfixes and the huge 1.2 update. A lot of bugs were fixed, but uh, not all of them. Soon after the apology, the company got hacked and posted the hacker's threat. You have been epically pawned. The source code of several games were acquired by the hacker and sold on an auction online. Fun fact, there was a cyberpunk mobile game scam that was extremely obvious, but still managed to steal just short of $10,000. Uh, $9,500! You hate to see it actually fucking work. And even after all of this and everything that happened before launch, I still think that this game will be good in the future. God damn, I like it. There's so much love and care put into it. In one of my favorite missions, you meet some kind of guru and meditate through biomes like a volcano in a forest. Yeah. Driving through the city is really relaxing and doing that in the evening makes it especially cinematic. I like the story a lot. Fuck, kill me, please. Especially duties. We already had a good amount of fixes and even more are coming in the future. I love the gunplay so much that I made a very little edit that I wanted to have in the beginning of this video, but I figured it wouldn't suit it. The only thing we can do now is to hope how the game will be in a year and see what happens. So what do I think about the game? Ten out of ten. Instruction is unclear. Got stuck under the map. Damn. Yeah, I'm playing on hard, so do vehicles explode here? I don't know. Okay, that was good timing. <laughs> that was good timing. <laughs>